What's up, guys? You know who it is. Midwest 2 Review here back again. Well, it's that time for us to go ahead and do this toolbox tour. I don't know that I'm going to get any more organized at the very moment. So I figure hey, let's go ahead and get into this and just do it. And so, uh, yeah, here we are. So disclaimer, this is going to be a long video. Um, I'm saying probably 10 minutes. If you guys could stay in for 10 minutes and watch the video, I'll try my best to get it done. No longer than like 11 or 12, hopefully, but I just bear with me. Um, pretty proud of the setup and I want to share it with you guys. So just hang in there with me for this time and uh, we'll be good to go. So, all right, let's go. So this is the Husky 80 inch box. It's actually 61 inches in length for the, the actual cap, um, lower portion and the hutch. And then you have the uh, side cabinet here, which makes up the difference. Um, so um, it's, it's a nice box, it's, like I said, Husky. Uh, on the hutch area here, I've got it all kind of laid out with what I've got. Um, you know, just my uh, T-handle nut drivers, couple uh, wrenches that I use commonly, snap-on stuff. Um, I snap on half-inch drive ratchets on the back wall, couple bits of snap-on, you know, memorabilia clocks and things of that nature. A couple random stubby wrenches that I'm contemplating getting rid of, selling them off. Um, more you snap on, you know, stuff like that. You know, the typical guy stuff you have. Uh, all my most common used screwdrivers up here. Uh, these are like my go-to. This is what I'm gonna grab, you know, if I'm, if I'm needing a screwdriver in the, in the garage or whatever, these are gonna be the ones. A couple more um, holders, a ratchet that I haven't put away, just kind of like chilling out there. My snap on Bluetooth radio, a um, couple wrenches. Um, we just got done doing the, uh, setting up the, the wrench drawer with using a toolbox widget. So you guys will get to see that here pretty soon. And it's a few more random SK wrenches here, uh, and my Bluetooth speaker there. So the money drawer that everyone likes, we'll go ahead and hit that one up first. I'm not going to go through every brand. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably already know what I've got. Um, a lot of SK, SK, not SK, right tools. Uh, snap on and Mac is what you're going to find in this jar. Uh, you're not going to find anything else but those brands. Oh, and you, you will find um, a set of SK sockets, but that's pretty much everything that we've got. Um, you got metric, so you got your SA, your metric SAEs. We try to break it up by color. Uh, this random set here is just a, a metric set, deep uh, shallows and mids and three eighths. Um, Another set here, these are SAE and deeps and, and uh, mid length uh, snap on. Um, these are snap on uh, 3 8 drive um, deeps and mids, snap on half inch drive deeps and shallow, snap on metric half inch drive deeps and shallows. And we are filling in a couple others that I couldn't find snap on sockets for, so I started grabbing um, right tools. Uh, and Right Tool is a channel sponsor, just a disclaimer, uh, but I did buy those on my own, so they should be here pretty soon. If you haven't, check out Harry J. Epstein. Got great prices on Right Tools if you're looking for that brand. Bunch of random sockets here, just extra overflow stuff. Um, swivels. Uh, these are these are Right Tool uh, deep uh, swivel 3H drive sockets, uh, but a, a good variety of just extras. And then we have all my quarter-inch drive stuff here as well the metrics and the SAEs, and I have deep, shallow, mid length and shallows. And then for the SAE, cause I don't use it that often, I do have a couple incomplete sets here, but like this is SAE deep 12 point. This is metric uh, six point shallow metric quarter drive. Um, another snap, or um, this is a, a cat. If you buy some stuff through cat, you'll know that they cat or Snap-on makes their makes the Caterpillar tools, so the sockets are essentially Snap-on. And then I think the ratchet is Williams. The extensions and the swivel um, are Snap-on, but just branded cat. Uh, more random overflow sockets here. I got my Snap-on E-Torx. Uh, my Snap-on, these are uh, metric mid-length chrome, six-point. My S little small SAE set there. Uh, and then here's my overflow tray that you guys may have remembered from the gold box. Um, I just got it sitting here and this is a variety. I'm not, I, there's no way I could tell you everything that's in here, but um, there's, a, there's a good variety. You can pretty much probably do most general service on a vehicle by pulling um, tools from this particular uh, tray here alone. 
Uh, then we got all of our Torx, uh, Hex, E-Torx, um, you name it, we've got it there. 12 point, 6 point, you know, uh, lug nut sockets. Um, yeah, you name it. And then we've got our big half inch drive stuff here from uh, Wright Tools and then our Proto Challenger set here. Uh, I forgot to mention that I do have a Proto Challenger set. This is half inch and three quarter inch drive, breaker bar and you know, you get it. So that's pretty much my my socket drawer. I don't, I don't, I won't ever be buying another socket set. Um, I can tell you that for a fact, um, unless I'm filling in something, but otherwise buying something brand new, I am done buying sockets and that is a great feeling. Second drawer down, uh, my rinse drawer, just got this drawer set up uh, courtesy of Toolbox Widget. No, they did not sponsor me. Um, I bought these on my own dime, $153 off of eBay uh, for six boxes of these things at 20 some dollars per box. Uh, a lot of money to spend, but after some going back and forth, playing around, getting frustrated, I was able to get the box set up, the drawer rather set up somewhat like I like it. Uh, things do ch will change probably over time, uh, but for the moment in time, uh, it is set up fairly decent. I got everything laid out. I got my snap-on um, combination drive here. I got my snap-on ratcheting, um, my snap-on flank drive. Um, then I've got Capri tools here ratcheting. I got some Facom ratcheting, smaller stubby screwdrivers, my Mac tool set there. Uh, this here is uh, my uh, short wrenches from Snap-on, everything from five all the way up to 19. My big um, offset wrenches here from 30, I think it's 36 down to 10. Uh, my double box in wrenches here from 10 to 19. Uh, and then my Mac tools um, um, line wrenches here from like eight to 15, I believe it is. What is it up to? 14, sorry, 14. So that's the set there. And I got a couple little smaller random um, line wrenches that I use fairly often, but that's the, the wrench drawer. Gotta move a lot faster than this guys. Gonna probably be more like 12 minutes. Um, screwdriver drawer i get a lot of extra stuff is going to be sold off so don't you don't have to leave that in the comment section um i've got people that are already expressed interest in buying some stuff out of here so we are going to be thinning the herd a little bit on this drawer not none of my um you know vintage stuff i'm going to keep all that the unique things the blue stuff the yellow stuff we're going to keep all that but some of the extras that we've got we're going to go ahead and let them go but that's the screwdriver drawer Next drawer down, we've got SAE stuff in combination with pliers. Why did I do that? Because you don't get a whole lot of drawers with this 80 inch box. So you have to compromise a little bit, be flexible. So here's all my pliers. The brands are Mac, got a little bit of Mac. I got a lot of Snap-on, a lot of Knipex. Um, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is, is either Snap-on, Mac, or Knipex. And, and oh, and I have a smaller set of Vampire tools courtesy of Hartnott's Forge. Um, but my, my uh, full complete set up to one inch uh, SAE snap-on. Um, I've got the snap-on short wrenches, the same range, but just short. I've got a set of, uh, these are actually metric um, uh, blue point ratcheting wrenches, combination wrenches. I just didn't have room in that drawer. Uh, my um, uh, line wrenches here from Mac. Um, these are a combination of metric and a few SAE older style ratcheting wrenches from Snap-on. My um, ballistic, um, what is it called? Um, mass fabricator wrenches, uh, SAE set from like what, seven eighths all the way down to quarter inch, I believe it is. Uh, and then a few extra wrenches here, or wrenches, extra pliers here, a variety of different brands, Knipex. Even got a, um, uh, if you guys saw my live stream last night with uh, Ed, the old tech guy, I picked up the Icon flush cut set. <laughs> Had to try them out. So and that's that drawer. We're at nine minutes. Um, beat it drawer. So, you know, beat it, punch it, chisel it, drawer, you know, pick it. You know, that's pretty much what we have here. All my pry bar, well, not all of them, but my, some of my pry bars, my hammers, um, soft blows, uh, ball peen, scrapers, Mac and Snap-on punch and chisel sets, uh, awls, um, Mac, um, um, 
uh, heater holes uh, pick set, snap-on pick set, uh, and then another snap-on heater hose set, and then the Mac um, mini miniature pry bars. Big drawer down here is the power drawer, or what I actually call the power drawer. Missing one tool, which is my half-inch Milwaukee, but everything else there is snap-on and uh, Milwaukee, all my ratchets. Um, I just picked up the uh, Milwaukee mid torque yesterday. Uh, haven't tried it out yet. Hopefully, uh, we'll get a chance to get this one going um, here pretty soon. But brand new, just got that. Just a couple um, blue point ball peen hammers on this side. My kneeling mat, my cobalt cutoff tool, um, my half inch drive, a breaker or um, torque torque wrenches are down there. And then I got a couple extra sets of wrenches that I just don't use. Um, but that's pretty much my power drawer there. <clears throat> In this drawer here, we have our 3 8 drive ratchets um, and a couple half-inch drives or a few half-inch drives on this side here. But pretty much everything else is 3 8 drive, flex heads, um, quarter-inch drive with the 3 8 drive um, anvil. Now, you guys have seen all these before, so we won't spend too much time on it. But that's what we got in that drawer. My quarter inch, three eighths and quarter, um, some of the bent handles, the unique shaped ones. Um, then all my older style ones, they look like they're all the same, but trust me guys, each one of them are different. They're just various FK, F730s, F710s, you know, all the all the old stuff, I want to get one of each and that's what I kind of did there. Um, and then all of here is just quarter inch drives in various lengths. Some of these are bit drivers, some of them are not, some of them are three eighths, some of them are quick release. There's a little bit of variety and then we have a longer stuff there. And then some of the older, new old stock round head, pair head type ratchets. Uh, and the same thing here. And then we've got this complete quarter inch drive service set, general service set there. It's pretty much got everything you can need in it. Um, there you go. So ratchets, flex heads, standards, quarter inch drive. It's got pretty much everything you need in there. This is a, the messiest drawer I have right now. It's still working out. This is where everything went that didn't have a, a permanent home. Um, you get your Allen keys, hex drivers, you get extra set of extensions, you've got miniature screwdrivers, then there's more extensions there, lights, tape measures, more extensions, miniature screwdrivers, lights, um, all my adjustable um, pliers here, or wrenches here, all my snap-on. And I got a couple Baco as well. They're all in here. Um, and just a bunch of random stuff. Everything's good quality tools. It's just kind of stuffed in this drawer right now until I can figure things out going forward. And then last but not least, guys, my favorite drawer is my power drawer here. Um, this drawer, um, I finally got everything put together like I wanted it. It's got all of my uh, chargers, charging units in here. Everything's powered up. Everything's out of the elements at the moment. Um, so we get all our Snap-on, our Milwaukee, our Cobalt, our DeWalt. Everything's in here, everything's operational. Got a big heavy duty power strip in the back that's been piped through the back of the box. I have to modify, put in grommets, make a little bit of a process, but we got it all done like I wanted it. Um, everything's powered up and it will stay like this. So very, very happy. I get a lot of money and power tools and I want to make sure that the batteries are surviving. Even managed to find myself an 18 volt snap-on charger. I've been looking for one for a while, finally found one here locally and we went and picked that guy up. So that's my power drawer. We may put a couple guns in here at some point in time. I'm thinking about putting like a little rack or something here for some of the most commonly used tools. But um, at the moment it's just simply housing my batteries. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is the, the um, I almost said snap on. That is the Husky 80 inch toolbox with the um, uh, hutch and sight locker. Oh my God, we didn't even do a sight locker. You guys would have yelled at me about that one. Okay, real quick. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get a light here. Hold on one second. We went well over, guys, but you know, when you're trying to condense everything into a quick little 15 minute video, it's, it's hard to do. There we go. Okay, so what do we have in this box? Let me see if I can put this light somewhere. It won't blind us, I guess. Um, every, I have a lot of service tools. Um, and what I mean by service tools, I've got pullers and uh, 
uh, easy outs, uh, multimeters, scan tools, um, screwdriver sets, uh, soldering irons, heat guns, um, uh, engine compression tools. Um, I mean, I just got a little bit of everything in here and I just kind of got it all piled up. I mean, it this would be another 15 minutes to go through all of these, but you know, uh, Mac hex bit sets, Torx bit sets, um, uh, uh, endoscopes or, you know, uh, uh, cylinder, or bore, bore inspection cameras. God, got to get that one out. I mean, you name it, I've got it in here. Caliper sets, micrometers, um, uh, jump packs, a little bit of everything, but everything's housed in here. Everything's protected. Um, everything's easy to, to, to get to for the most part. I am going to come back and I am going to put the names on the side of the box. So it'd be easier for me to recognize seeing how there's so many red boxes in here. But like I said, guys, I, you know, I was, there was comments in the past that I didn't need to get more, um, diagnostic type tools. I, I do have them. You guys see the brands that I have. They are the red cases, which is pretty much self-explanatory what brands they are. Mac and snap on are the ones I have. Um, I do have a lot of off-brand stuff as well, but for the most part, it's, it's the higher-end stuff. And the reason why I got that is because um, I got, I was fortunate enough to meet uh, a guy who was a retired Snap-on dealer, and it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I was able to buy a lot of those things. But I bought what I heard many of you telling me to go get and things that you guys expected that I should have. So I listened to my audience, and that's what I bought, and I bought it for really cheap, so it made sense at the time to do that. So... But uh, so thank you guys, for those who have commented and shared, you know, your opinion about what tools I needed. But that's my sight locker. I am going to put a light in there because I hate having to stick a, a magnetic flashlight up here to get to see what's in here. We are going to put lighting in here. We'll probably put it, I don't know, maybe on the back side of here. I don't know where to go, but I wanted to make sure that it illuminates the entire box and not just a certain section of it. I did install these. I um, probably can't see them. I did install these two trays here, magnetic trays that I got from uh, Home Depot. Uh, they, they are Husky brands. And I just kind of got random stuff in these boxes of these trays, you know, knives, precision screwdriver sets, tapes, my leads from my NOCO, uh, my battery tester hanging there on the door with my headlight um, um, mount. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's that's everything in that box there. Um, and it's a good variety for a DIYer. I think that it's a... An awesome setup and uh, it allows me to 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 learn to grow take not take on new challenges um, and do things in my own home garage or shop like I like to call it uh, and kind of expand my knowledge base so um, many of you know that I've reached out to you before I've talked to CP the tool addict I've talked to Autobahn Dan um, I've talked to Clay Coon asking various questions about how to fix things so um, you know, hey, it's a, it's a, it's a process of, of learning. So I want to make sure that I have the tools to do the job. Hope you guys enjoyed the toolbox tour. Uh, thank you for being patient Wait, as, as I was trying to get things set up. It's not the greatest tool in the world. I wish I did a lot better job at it. It's a lot of information to dump in your lap at one time, but um, a lot to show you. But if you saw anything that you're more interested in, hopefully you stayed around this long. Most, most of you probably did not. But if you did, if you saw something that you, you're, you're interested in, uh, maybe you want to buy it. Maybe you want to know more about it. Just make sure you leave it in the comment section. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Midwest underscore tool underscore review. And we now have a TikTok account and uh, Midwest tool is what it's under. Um, I'll be sharing information on that as well. So we are on three different social media platforms at the moment and we're trying to grow, trying to get to that infamous 5,000 um, subscribers on YouTube. That's my goal. Once I'm there, I'm happy. I don't need to, I mean, if I grow, great, you know, but if I'm not, if I don't, I don't want to go backwards. I want to keep going. Um, but 5,000 is that point where I'm very, very happy. We're now at 3,200 um, um, uh, followers on Instagram. So we're doing great on that platform as well. Uh, and it's time to give TikTok a shot. So uh, with my teenagers help, I think we'll be successful. So, all right, guys, appreciate it. Love you all. Catch you in the next video. Peace.